good morning, everybody. We are starting. Uh, so it is my pleasure to introduce the vice rector of our university, Professor Yolanta Choinska Mika, who will uh, open the session indeed. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, uh, because it's opening, I will try to be very serious. So, because this is very, very, very important moment for all uh, for all of us. So, good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, honorable speakers, dear guests, dear participants, dear friends, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I am very, very uh, pleased, and I feel uh, even honored to welcome all of you at the University of Warsaw. And uh, he, and especially that I am, you know, doing it here at the university library, which is uh, one of our city's uh, most iconic buildings. And as you probably know, the university has just turned 200 years, but of course this part of our campus is much, much young, younger. This new site of the University of Warsaw Library was opened about 20 years ago in, in 1999, and since then, thousands of students, scholars, and regular visitors came through in search of their own big and small Discover, uh, discoveries, and since its opening, uh, the library has not stopped being a key site for groundbreaking debates, research, heated discussion, and social life, in, fa in fact. And I am more than sure, I am certain, that this conference will also provide uh, the opportunity for all of this and will in turn help to expand the boundaries of digital humanities research and activities. And launching this conference uh, is also an important step for the university because it's it fulfills our ambition and our desires to foster the development of digital humanities in Poland and to contribute to the development of digital humanities in, in Europe. And uh, the university is honored to host the representatives from leading uh, European, and not only European, digital humanities institutions, research centers, uni universities, and feel, um, even, feels even uh, privileged to foster a space for interdisciplinary debate. And uh, I think that also it is a very, very good opportunity to share our experiences and our uh, feeling about the future, future challenging, challenges. And I am sure that in time of over, uh, of seemingly ever deepening uh, divisions and increasingly complex issues to navigate, international, European, worldwide, interdisciplinary devices going through it is even more and more important than it used to be before. So once again, thank you for devoting your time. Thank you for coming here. I am really grateful and I would like to express our uh, 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 um, uh, our well uh, warm warm feelings to all the all the speakers and all the organizers and uh, I am sure that this conference and this the sign of transnational collab collaboration will 
also be a very, very important in terms of future development of our own countries we are representing now. So I would like on behalf of the rector of the university, Professor Marcin, uh, uh, Marcin uh, Powers, on behalf of the, uh, the entire rectoral board and the whole academic, uh, 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 for academic uh, so society, I would like once again to welcome you very, very warmly and wish you a very pleasant stay in, in Warsaw. And also, I wish you a very, very inspiring debate and fruitful uh, building of network and relax. So enjoy stay, your stay here in Warsaw. Enjoy this conference. And once again, thank you very, very much for coming here. Uh, so this is my role now, uh, uh, replacing Dorota Urbanek, who uh, unfortunately cannot come here and uh, is spiritually with us, but uh, uh, physically not with us. Uh, uh, I would like to welcome you again uh, on, uh, on, the, on behalf of the uh, Digital Laboratory of uh, Warsaw University. Uh, our university is, as uh, Mrs. Uh, Vice Rector uh, just uh, told us, uh, two year, 200 years old, uh, so our laboratory will turn one year old on Saturday. Uh, so we're much younger, but we hope to uh, eventually be almost as old as the university, uh, because in the limit, uh, I'm a mathematician from profession, so in the limit, uh, n plus uh, one is almost equal to n plus 200. <laughs> Uh, so at some point we will be almost the same, uh, but now we are starting uh, and we have already benefited a lot from cooperation with uh, similar units from uh, our un other universities in Europe and outside of Europe. Uh, uh, we have been created by 14 uh, units of Warsaw University, including uh, many uh, humanities uh, faculties. Uh, my faculty, which is mathematics, informatics, and uh, mechanics, and uh, also interdisciplinary center for uh, mathematical and computer modeling. Uh, so this is, uh, uh, so to say, a movement of uh, those who need to meet to do something reasonable, uh, and we hope to uh, 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 flourish being really uh, a movement of people who want to collaborate rather than uh, a creation of uh, political wish, uh, which we find uh, much better. And uh, now, being almost one year old, we think we should contribute something to the well-being of digital humanities. And this is why we are organizing the con conference where everybody can share their experiences, how such centers and labs are organized, how they cooperate with the rest of the world, uh, meaning the rest of the university and the rest of the society around and the world in general. Uh, let's stop at this level. <laughs> uh, so now, uh, in order not to make it too long, uh, I would like to introduce the first keynote speaker, Professor Jan Christoph May.